Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, yeah, so it's a really crappy day today. Uh, it's absolutely freezing. I'm just out the window and it's, uh, it's just gone pitch black. It's going to rain in a minute again. Uh, it's pissing down rain this morning. So I thought, what the hell, I'm going downtown. Um, so I thought I was going to check out the game shops, you know, see if I could pick any bargains. Uh, don't really need any more games at the moment because I've got quite a lot to play. Uh, pile of shame to get a bit ridiculous. But um, I thought, what the hell, I might as well just going to try and get some PlayStation 2 games because you never know, I might get lucky. Um, yeah, so, right, okay, so basically I went down the normal shops. Uh, I decided to save MT going for last because obviously I know I'm always going to find a bargain in there, something nice. So I went to Game Station, uh, and I've got to be honest, Game Station's getting worse, it's shit. Um, since Game took over, the prices have gone ridiculous. I went there today, I've still not got any Xbox or GameCube, it's just PS2. Now, two weeks ago, I think it was, I went in there, they had um, two deals, there was a free for a five pound and four for a tenner. Now, obviously the three for five pound are all the crap games like sports titles and things. So I went in there today, they got the three for five pound, um, I found Quake 3, Red Faction 2, uh, and I was going to pick up Time Splitters for the five pound. They had four copies of Time Splitters, one had a knackered box with really damaged artwork, and all four had really badly scratched discs, so I just decided to not bother, I just thought, no, nah, I can't be arsed with that, so I just deaf that idea. And then, the really annoying thing was that all the other games they had for PS2 were like £10 and above, and I'm like, what the hell? They got Medal of Honor Vanguard, which I really wanted to buy, £9.99. Now, on eBay, I swear to God you can get it for less than a ten, a second hand easy. So, I don't know where they get the prices from, they're crazy. And just as a point of reference, as you all know, I bought Bionic Commando um, a couple of weeks back now, I got it from Tesco in the clearance, brand new, sealed on PS3 for £9. I went into a game last week, and game was selling it second hand for uh, 17.99. It's a game of mental. I don't know where they get their prices from. They're just guessing. Anyway, guys. So yeah, that was a, a waste of time. We went over to cash generators. Um, same again. Cash generators. Usually they've got about two massive shelves of PS2 games and nothing else. I went in there today. They got like maybe five, six Xbox games. The only good one was um, Time Split of Future Perfect, which is not a game on that really. I'm not, not really bothered by it, it doesn't really interest me. Uh, Time Split is one or two, great. Future Perfect, I might pick it up in the future, I'm not that arsed at the moment. But um, PS2 wise, they ain't got anything. There's like half a shelf, and most of those were like Pro Evo and FIFA. And I was like, oh, this is really bad, I'm not going to get any games today. But as I say, MT Games, as usual, come through, probably they've got some classics. So I picked up. Um, a little bag of games from MT Games, so I'll show you what I've got anyway. Uh, I'm quite chuffed actually because um, I think I did alright today. So, first of all, yeah, we'll start with the Xbox games because you know, I'm, I'm still doing my competition with Card 2 fan. Um, I'm currently sitting at 89 Xbox Black Label. He's got, I think, 86 or 88. I think it's 86 PS2 Black Label sitting at the moment. The total's on his page if you want to look anyway. So today I picked up a uh, Crash Tag Team Racing. As usual, I just picked the games that are the best ones that I thought and the ones that he got um, that I like the look of. There you go. Complete with manual and disc, which looks very nice actually. The manual's in really nice shape. Let's have a look at the disc. Uh, not that bad actually, uh, a few scratches. Uh, just mostly a lot of fingerprints, so just need to clean. But uh, excellent. Now this was the most expensive of the Xbox games I picked up. This was uh, 4 dollars you can see the price tag. Yeah, I mean, I think it was x 27 I did a gameplay release, I don't know if it was the Xbox or PS2 version. Um, and it did look really cool, so I thought, yeah, why not? And it's, it's crashed. And um, Crash Team Mason on the PlayStation 1, I love that game, it's brilliant, so I'm hoping this is just as good, if not better. Next one I got was a game that um, Ty's Wayne did a gameplay for me for uh, a few weeks back now. I think he did the PS2 version, and that is State of Emergency. Uh, it looked really mental, and I really can't believe they got past the sensors with this game because it's just wrong. It's wrong in every way. Uh, the case is slightly damaged there, but I can change that. Uh, but it does look good for Manual and Disc. Uh, Manual's got a bit of a crease in the corner, but you know, that's just me being picky. So we'll look at the disc. Uh, yeah, not too bad actually. Um, a bit of light scratching, uh, fingerprints, it's just the usual. Not too bad at all, so I'm really looking forward to trying that because it did look really good in Ty's gameplay. Uh, yeah, certainly a different game. <laughs> and the last one, guys, on Xbox, which I'm really impressed I got this. 
Uh, and I think, I'm not entirely sure because I haven't checked eBay, but I think this is a good price as well. Uh, and it is Metal Gear Solid 2 subsistence. Now, I've tried to play Metal Gear 2 on the PlayStation 2, and to be fair, I couldn't do it. I, I completed Metal Gear 1 on the PlayStation 1. Metal Gear 2, Sons of Liberty come out. I just got fed up with the FMV. It just bored me because of so much of it. I just wanted to play the game, and it was just constant FMV. So, apparently, subsistence, uh, they cut the FMV down because it's pissing people off. So I'm hoping I can play this and actually get somewhere. We'll wait and see. Okay, there you go. That's completed manual and disc. Uh, as you can see, the manual is in very nice condition. There's a couple of uh, a bit, a little bit of damage at the bottom, a little bit of creasing, but that's really minor. Uh, overall, it's in really nice shape. Uh, and the disc. Oh, actually, the disc is in really good shape. A lot better than I thought it would be. It's got very light scratching, hardly anything. Like that's excellent. And this one, you can see the price tag there. Uh, it's £3.99 